Used to the city, now we got our own land Life's getting real busy, busy. none of it was ever planned Plan. Got the crib looking pretty, pretty. with a garden full of plants. plants And we built our own committee, yeah. from the bottom we advanced yeah. Back to our roots, roots. now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots, Put on. it's time to go take off your suit so. Back to our roots, yeah. yeah, now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots it's time to farm with Cheryl Swoops right now, right now, yeah, yeah, right now, right now. So, BTOR family, it's been raining here in Houston for about, man, about seven straight days we got rain. This grass is higher than Snoop Doggy Dog out here. I got to get it cut down over the next couple days. It's still a little wet, so I don't really want to cut it yet. And mess up my blades on my lawnmower. So I'm going to get out here and get some more work done. My big brother, Mo D, coming through the gate right now. He uh, went got all our soil so we can top off our, our uh, buckets and start getting uh, everything ready for uh, fall planting. But uh, this week, we'll get out here and get some work. I'll bring you along. I didn't shoot a video last week because... I don't, I didn't have a lot to shoot and I don't just like to try to create stuff. You know, I'll try to do stuff that actually um, has a little value to it. But uh, we gonna get out here today and get to work. So I'll bring y'all along this week and show you what we're doing on the homestead. Howdy! <laughs> All right guys, we about to get some buckets done. Uh, that's the row right there that I'm going to uh, do the uh, in the back garden. That's the third row. One more to go. And then these over here I already have. I've already had these. So I'm going to use uh, most of these to fill up and mix soil so that once we get all the soil mixed, then all we have to do is go back there, turn the buckets, and top them with the soil. So uh, uh, the soil, I've already mixed a few, but... Uh, that's what I'll be doing Monday this week, just getting everything ready to go. As you can see, we got a truckload of soil and black cow and peat moss and compost and different stuff. So, me and Modi gonna get it off the truck. Get it ready. And uh, get ready for fall. Let's go, Modi. Let's do it. Hey guys, we got it unloaded. We got our blood meal and bone meal. We got our compost. We got soil. We got peat moss. And we got black cow. I got this over here. I laid a few bags over here so that I can dump them directly into the bucket so I'll get out here and get these done just top this off and then once the soil is in you don't need a lot on on each uh pot because it's full of soil but I do like to top them and turn that soil and soften it up you know for for the each season so I'll I'll get out here in the next couple of days and get all uh, I got nine of them right here I'll get all of these full of soil and then at that point we got enough to go ahead and start I want to get that back garden in first because that's where my collar's going and you know I'm gonna plant them collars first. Yes, sir. Mo D. Mo D got him a new truck. Man, nice truck too, man. Gonna put it to work. Yeah, we so need it. we got it. We got, got a new truck to haul with, and so that's a good situation. I can deal direct with my big brother. It's a few people on earth I trust, and he one of them. So yes, sir. We gonna get to work and get moving. Get get on to something else out here. What's up, BTOR family? I'm out in the shed checking out. Nikki, the OCD is chick. She's showing us from uh, from the garden to the table. She's cooking. Food looks great. Um, I love her channel. So you guys go over and check her out. She does a lot with the garden and cooking, meals. Just uh, real knowledgeable. But uh, right now, I'm starting over here. I'm getting my fall stuff together. Laid out my back garden, my plans. And now I'm putting together a a little roster <laughs> of what I'm gonna put out there. So trying to go through it. I'm, me and AT gonna speak later and maybe we'll s switch some seeds up with each other. Some stuff I might have she don't and some stuff she have I don't, but um, it's time to start getting ready for the fall. Um, I mixed a few buckets of the soil already. So they are sitting over there. I'm gonna probably do three a day until they're done. And I'll have them done in a few days. But uh, I'm gonna get out here now and uh, get some seeds. So 
What are you guys planting this fall in your uh, fall garden? All right, guys. Jose just showed up. Uh, he's going to weedy the edges around the house and around the, the garden and around the chicken coop. Um, it's still a little wet in the middle, so I'm probably going to cut it tomorrow or Thursday morning. But uh, I like to keep those edges down just to keep snakes and stuff from being close to the house. So I'm going to go ahead and get let him do that. Uh, I think I'm going to go plant some um, lemongrass in my uh, uh, herb garden. I have some of that and I didn't plant it and I love it in tea. So uh, I'll plant that while he's getting uh, doing the weed eating. What's up, BTOR? Been a long day. Mainly been just cutting the grass. Cheryl's on the lawnmower now. I did all the cutting earlier. I went out by the gate all the way to the street and I did this whole um, front pasture. Got everything done out here. Um, not a lot going on today, just getting the grass down. It was so high from all the rain. And while Cheryl's been on the lawnmower for the last hour or so, I've been making buckets. So I got four done today. I try to get four or five done every day. I want to get 15 to 20 of these done. Um, I have a, I think I got six of them right back there behind the wall in the buckets. Um, this I wanted to get them out of the way so I have all, all the space. Um, so moving all real good here. Um, so I want to get these made and all I have to do is go back there, till the bucket, till the buckets and uh, and then top them with the soil. So. This is the hardest part of it, making the soil. But today we got a lot done. Like I say, I got all this cut. The only uh, grass left to be cut is around the house. Cheryl's already gotten back by, by the pool. Now she's coming to the section up here in the front. Um, I have to do that section over there by that tree tomorrow because the sprinklers came on and it's wet. But that, just from that tree, the um, prey myrtle uh, to that tree, that's the only little area. She'll get this done today. Pretty much done out here. Um, the garden, I'll look at it tomorrow. I did harvest one of the new melons that we grew, and um, I'm gonna uh, I harvest it yesterday. I, I like to put them in the fridge overnight and then cut them the next day. So I'll cut that when I go in a little later. But uh, just want to give y'all a heads up today. wasn't a lot to do out here. I mean, uh, wasn't a lot to film today because, like I said, most of the day I just been cutting the grass doing soil so I'm gonna let her finish up um, I might make another bucket or two of soil and uh, we'll call it a night so we'll see y'all tomorrow what's up BTOR family This week I've just been making soil guys, so I haven't been doing a lot. Didn't want to film that. But uh, today I'm out moving around. It's about 12, one in the afternoon, 12.30, one o'clock. And the temperature is right at 110 degrees. So it's pretty hot out here. Um, today I'm gonna get out here, I'm gonna get some of my uh, Tabasco peppers off. It's time to get those. Um, we've been harvesting the sweet peppers and making seasoning. Um, it's time to harvest again. It's the treat the plant is full again. We've been getting the bell peppers and cooking with them, but as you can see, they're continuing to grow. But today, I'm gonna get out here and get some some of these bell peppers off. Um, they've done really well. Um, my artichoke. This one came back. Um, this one. Um, it's surviving. I got to get those bad leaves off and that one came back. So the only one that didn't come back was the one on the end So everything's still growing out here. We're still getting peppers and that's always a good thing. So um, I'll come out later and get these and then Cheryl can put them in the jar and make my Tabasco pepper sauce but uh, That's what I'm starting off with today. Well, I started off earlier making soil I like to do that before it gets too hot 
but uh i'll go back and do a few more buckets i just do try to do two or three a day in this heat but uh i'm almost there so i need to get out and cut this grass we just cut it <laughs> a few days ago as you guys saw but uh it's already high again so uh rain and sun will do it show you guys the trees that is a magnolia tree right there and look at the crepe myrtle guys it is full beautiful tree go over here and check on holly grove see how everything's doing over here um, as you can see anita is full of leaves everything popped back just like auntie said it would so um i don't expect to get anything off of this year but hopefully we'll get some next year and as you can see the moringa tree is huge it's almost uh <laughs> It's over five feet for sure. So um, it's doing good. It's in a good area. I love it. I've been getting some leaves off of it already. So Holly Grove is doing good. All right. Now I need to make me some tea, some um, mullein tea. So I'm going to get some of these mullein leaves off. I'm also going to get a little mint and a little, uh, a little lemon basil. As you can see, the uh, ginger is doing really, really good. It's doing well in this heat. And I have some uh, dill there. I got to get those uh, lemon basil uh, plants out. The seeds keep dropping in there, but the mullein is, I mean, the uh, um, dill is doing really good. And as you can see, my uh, turmeric plants are huge. Both of them are doing really well. And uh, we're getting basil everywhere. And this basil plant is doing really, really good. So, what do you guys do with basil? Um, I know we cook with it in some different dishes, but how do you guys uh, preserve it? What do you do with it? Do you dehydrate it? Um, what do you guys do with basil? Um, we also need to get those off. We've been making parsley. The hyssop is struggling a little. I've been watering it, but it's struggling a little. And the rest of that is just basil. So everything's looking good out here. The sage and the rosemary are doing hanging in there. They're doing well. Um, so hopefully they'll make it through. Because I like to cook with that in the especially for Thanksgiving. But right now I'm gonna give me some mullein uh, leaves off and um, take them inside and uh, make me some tea. All right, guys, I'm headed out to the shed. I'm gonna go out here and get a get one of the new melons out um we had one that was ready we harvested it and i always put them in the refrigerator for a day just to cool them down some before i get the melon i want to show you what we have under the lamborghini we have some lemongrass and it's already uh, it's already germinated and then we have some um seeds that auntie sent us the georgia roaster squash um we got it in we got the hummingbird mint um that's planted and we have the Rosa Blanca eggplant. Um, we didn't like the other eggplant, but Auntie told us to try this one. So we're going to give it a try and we'll try to grow it o o over the fall. So uh, th that's the stuff that's already under the Lamborghini. We got a lot more stuff um, that we're going to be uh, planting here over the next few days. But uh, that's the start of it. And over here we have, uh, there's the melon. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna take it uh, inside and we'll cut it. Cheryl's in there doing um, seasoning, um, red pepper flakes. So I'm gonna take this in there, we'll cut it, and we'll tell you what it tastes like. All right guys, in the kitchen, me and Cheryl, and just got more of our uh, cayenne peppers out of the dehydrator. And now she's gonna put them in the blender and put them in our little bottles for, um, for seasoning. Um, and I love those in the collars. I'm just taking the little green things off. And um, she got a smaller little thing there, but it looks like it's a little more powerful. A little blender. And uh, those are the little um, containers that we put them in. She buys those and we just make a bunch of them. Yeah. From the dollar store. Yeah, oh yeah. And they, they last through, uh, they last us basically a whole year from two plants um, we make enough uh, season because they just keep going there's some more out there 
And this right here, guys, is a little thing I bought it. it takes water and turns it into uh, nitrogen water, which is, um, I've been studying that, and it's a real healthy for you. Hydrogen. Um, I mean hydrogen, excuse me. Hydrogen water. Um, so, let me give it a try. Yeah. Oh yeah, you put a lot of them in that one thing. Because it's so strong. Had. I'm just gonna refill it. Yeah, that one's getting low. So, all right, guys, we're gonna blend these up and then we'll show you what it look like when we get done. All right, guys, um, we're gonna cut one of the melons that we got. And uh, here's my tea. I got mullein, hyssop, mint, and uh, lemon basil. That's what's gonna be in my tea. And as you can see over here, I'm boiling my soursop uh, leaves. Um, I put the sour salt leaves in there and I let it, let it sit in there and um, get break down into the water and then I pour that water um, in my tea kettle with my other ingredients. So that's how I make my tea from the garden and uh, here we go. Oh, I didn't cut that very good. <clears throat> so this is a new, it kind of looks like a cantaloupe, but uh, it's a new melon. So. We're gonna give this a try, see what it tastes like, guys. All right, guys, we're gonna give it a little taste, see what it tastes like. I guess I should do this. Yeah, let's cut it. When it's good, see. best believe I'm gonna say those seeds. <laughs> if it's bad, not so much. <laughs> if it's bad? If it don't taste good. Tastes pretty good. <laughs> it's good. Better than a cantaloupe? Would you prefer that over a cantaloupe? This is a melon? Yeah. And I'll put, the, I'll put the picture up right now, guys. This is a cantaloupe. No, that's not a cantaloupe. Cantaloupes are brown. We have cantaloupes in there. Well, sh this sh tastes like cantaloupe to me. I, I know, but it's not a cantaloupe. It might be from the same family. I believe you. I'm just saying. Hmm. It's good. It doesn't taste like melon though. It tastes like here. So here's one of our cantaloupes. Try. Wait, not the seeds. It tastes like cantaloupe to me. I believe you. I'm taking the seed out. <coughs> you do? Yeah, but see, look at the outside of that one. Turn that skin on. It's green. And see, that's a cantaloupe. So we found a keeper here. I sent AT some of these seeds, so hopefully she'll get some soon too. But yeah, that's really good. Good <laughs> and juicy and sweet. I'm gonna see. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna save these really seeds. Good. I'm gonna get the seeds out and save them. So we'll have some more for next that's year. Really but, good. But uh. Look like we found us a, and it actually gets bigger than the cantaloupe, which is what I like. So I think we're gonna, um, I'll start planting these instead of cantaloupe next year. It's real good. All right, guys. Uh, oh, here's some more peppers that we're dehydrating. Um, we got stuff here. We got more here. We'll be dehydrating and making more seeds. All the ones we did. But those are the ones Cheryl did today. Um, she got five uh, things over. And we still have a bunch of more, and we have some more already in the pantry. Well, too. I didn't do this one. I did that one. Okay. This one's a leftover. Okay. We have some more of them, but and then I got some more out there on the tree. So These jars are perfect, though. Uh -huh. They're the perfect size. They keep it fresh. All right. And we'll get another harvest. I didn't wear a mask. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> it will get on you. It got me too a little bit, but. Yeah, they're, they're the real deal. They're strong. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it in the kitchen. Right now, right now. Yeah, yeah. Back to our roots, back to our roots. Back to our roots, back to our roots.